Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to track all of your cryptocurrency trades on your exchanges so you can easily calculate your cryptocurrency tax returns. So let's get started. So Cointracker.io is a service that allows you to track all of your cryptocurrency trades all of your buys and sells and it keeps track of all of those gains and losses making it very easy for you to calculate your tax returns by keeping track of all of your cryptocurrency trades your gains and losses it's going to allow it to auto generate your tax form 8949 to keep track of all of your capital gains and losses so let me show you how to connect your cryptocurrency exchanges to your Cointracker.com account so that you can track all of those trades. All right, so I'm going to start at the dashboard here. You can see that it's been tracking my portfolio. It also gives me a list of all of my current assets, recent transactions, right? And it also sort of keeps track of all of the tax years over here on this side. What we want to do is connect our cryptocurrency exchanges to our Cointracker.com account. And the way that we're going to do that is with a thing called an API, which stands for Application Programmer Interface. It's basically a little software widget that you're going to install on your exchanges, which will allow Cointracker to read your transaction history. It's not going to give Cointracker any access to your cryptocurrencies. It won't allow it to make trades or do withdrawals. It will simply allow Cointracker to see your transaction history. So let's get started. We want to go over here to wallets. And as you can see, I've got several exchanges already set up, but I'm sort of going to take you through the process so that you can see how this works. Now, if you've got Coinbase, the easiest way to connect your Coinbase account to your coin tracker account is simply to log into coin tracker using your coinbase credentials and i have a great video that shows you how to get that set up it's one of the easiest ways that you can connect your cryptocurrency exchange to coin tracker right but we start with add wallet uh, I, it's kind of a generic term it covers cryptocurrency wallets and exchanges so we'll start with this button all right, and then uh, we need to choose what type of wallet. And in this case, it's going to be an exchange, right? You can see that they've got several exchanges that we can connect. If you're simply just logging in with an email address instead of connecting directly to your Coinbase account, we can just start with uh, the API there. And when you click that, you'll notice that it just has you sign in to your Coinbase account through Cointracker. This is one of the easiest ways to do it. As you can see, you'll need to enter your two-factor authentication if you have that set up, and I highly recommend that you do. Then you'll just give it permission to link your Coinbase account to your Cointracker account. Coinbase is one of the easiest ones to do. All right, let's do the next one. Let's hit Add Wallet again, and this time we'll do Coinbase Pro. And with Coinbase Pro, you can see here that we're going to actually uh, create an API sync. All right, we can just click here. It's gonna open a new tab for us automatically. If you aren't logged into your Coinbase Pro account, it will ask you to log in. As you noticed, I had already logged into my Coinbase account, which had me logged into my Coinbase Pro account. You'll notice I already have one in here, but you can just hit new API key You'll need to give it a name like Coin Tracker. All right, you'll want to give it view permissions only. You don't want to give it permission to trade or transfer. You might want to do that if you're an advanced user and you're using some sort of bot to trade. But in Coin Tracker's case, we just want them to be able to see our transaction history. All right, it generates a passphrase for us. We want to copy that into our clipboard, go back over here to Coin Tracker, paste that passphrase in. Right? And then we're going to hit uh, Create API Key. We're, we're going to need to enter our two-factor authentication. We'll hit Add API Key. They're going to give us the secret key. Let's copy that into our clipboard. Slip back over here and paste that part into the API secret field. And then we'll click Done. And once we've got it created, 
you'll see it here in your list. And then the main API key is right here. We'll just copy that into our clipboard. We'll go back over here and then we'll paste it in. And so now we have all three. We've got the passphrase, the API key name, and the API secret. And then we'll just hit add account. And that adds that into our coin tracker. And you'll notice that I already have mine entered, right? We'll just keep going down the list for the next exchange. We'll hit add wallet here. We'll go down to exchanges. This time we'll hit Binance. We can click this link here. It's going to open up a new tab and uh, ask us to log into our Binance account. I get a little warning here because I'm in the US, but I have used Binance in the past, right? As you can see, I already have one here, but you probably don't have any yet. You might, but we're going to create a new one for Coin Tracker. So we can call this one Coin Tracker. Right. We'll hit Create API. You'll have to go through their security. In the case of Binance, you'll copy this key here. You'll paste it in. And then you'll go back over here and copy that secret key, which you'll sort of need to do like this. Just copy it into your clipboard. Paste it in over here. All right. And then you can hit Add Account. But we'd like to, uh, they give us some recommendations here for editing. Uh, we don't want uh, trading. We want to disable the enable trading, right? We don't want uh, the API to allow trading at all. So uh, we'll just hit edit restrictions here and we'll just untick this one, right? All we want is reading. We want Coin Tracker to be able to read our history. So we can just untick this and then we'll go ahead and hit save. We'll need to enter our Google Authenticator code. All right, and then we're done, right? And then we can go back over to Coin Tracker and hit Add Account, and then you'll have your Binance Exchange connected to Coin Tracker, and it'll it'll show up in your list here. All right, that takes care of Binance. Uh, let's go down the list here. This time we'll do Binance US. Very similar. You'll notice we just need the API key and the secret. And we do want to uh, disable the, the trading. So it'll be very similar to Binance. Let's hit the uh, link here. It's going to ask us to log in. All right, you'll notice mine's already in there from before. You should have a blank one. You'll just hit uh, give it a name and hit create. You're going to need your Google Authenticator again. All right, they're going to send you a confirmation email. You'll need to check your email. All right, you're going to click this confirm here. It'll take you right back to your Binance US account and you'll see your API key created there your, uh, in your list. So we'll just copy that key into our clipboard. We'll paste it in here into Coin Tracker. We'll copy that secret. Paste that in over here. And then we can hit Add Account. All right, and then before we leave Binance US, we'll want to do the edit and uh, untick spot trading, All right? And then we'll hit save, enter our Google Authenticator code one more time, and then we're done with that one, All right? All right, and then over here, we'll hit add account and it'll be added to our list. All right, we'll just hit the next one. I'll go ahead and do Bittrex, All right. Almost the same thing, right? We'll just click this link. It's going to ask us to log into our account. Okay, and as you can see on Bittrex, I don't have a key yet, so we can hit Add New Key. In Bittrex case, we're just going to uh, enable Read, but not Trade and Withdraw, right? We'll hit Save here. It wants our Google Authenticator code. All right, I got a little warning that I had done this too quickly. Some cryptocurrency exchanges uh, will not allow you to um, withdraw or make uh, changes uh, too soon from logging in. It's sort of a security measure. So you might just have to wait a bit before you do this. I'll try again. All right, and it created the key this time. So we need to take that uh, key. We'll just highlight it and copy it into our clipboard, paste it in over here. Go back and copy the secret, do our clipboard, paste that in over here. Let's hit add account here. All right, it gets added to our list. 
All right, let's move on to our next one. Let's try Kraken. All right, uh, very similar here. We got the API key and the secret. So uh, I'll just click the link here. It should take me over to my Kraken account. All right, get ourselves signed in here. So uh, we'll click on the, the name and the profile. And uh, for Kraken, you wanna go to security here, pull that down and then uh, hit API. All right, and so we're gonna add an API key here. We'll hit add key. And let's check the guidance here. We wanna have uh, query funds, query closed and order trades, and query ledger entries. So we'll do those, query funds, query closed orders and trades, this one, and ledger entries. All right, so those are the three that we need. All right, and then we'll hit generate key. All right, so we'll copy that key into our clipboard. We'll paste it in over here. And then we'll copy the private key. We'll paste that in over here. Now, if you're uh, meticulous and you wanna keep a copy of that secret key somewhere safe, you can do that as well, store it somewhere. Uh, probably on a flash drive or something like that in case you need it again. But really, it's not that difficult to recreate these if you need them. All right, and once you've done that, we'll go back over here and hit Add Account. And we're done. All right, you'll notice that I've got uh, Kraken here updating. All right, now I don't have either one of these exchanges, but uh, if you'll notice, they're very similar. You know, you'll just click the link, log into your account, They'll, they'll give you some guidance on the settings, right? Usually it's a d disable trading, right? Very similar, right? Follow the link. They'll give you the instructions on uh, the specifics of that website, tell you which settings to uh, disable, and uh, copy those keys into your coin tracker. Pretty straightforward. All right, and then when you're done, you should have a list of all of your connected exchanges here in your uh, coin tracker, and uh, they'll be periodically synced. Uh, if you want to do a full sync, you can hit this sync wallets button. It'll take it a bit, right? It's not going to happen right away, so you need to be a little bit patient. You'll notice there that it's updating my cost basis, right? And there you go. That's how you add your cryptocurrency exchanges to your coin tracker account so that it can trace and track all of your transactions uh, and log all of your gains and losses and uh, import all of that information into cointracker.com so that you can easily generate your tax forms. You'll notice there once I've got all this information uh, connected to my coin tracker account, I can go over to the tax center. Right? And then I can generate these tax forms. Right? Now, if you also have cryptocurrency wallets, you'll probably want to add those as well, like non-custodial wallets, like a Ledger or any other, or a MetaMask wallet. You'll want to add those as well. I got a great video on how you add your wallets using Cointracker, so you might want to check that one out too, so that you can get everything connected to your coin tracker account and be able to file your cryptocurrency taxes easily. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my very best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.